And we do not have a single country that recognizes us. We do not have a single country that sponsors us. We do not have, I mean, we, we are still fighting this war in our territory, bearing all the damages, be it human damage or property damage, all still taking place in our territory. It's not supposed to be so after five years or six years, we want to put it that way. We ought to have moved beyond here. We are not occupying any territory of our own. How come for six years we have no hold on any territory in Ambazonia? My country people then, when we now see the fantastic victories, the successes where we don't achieve them in the defeat of Ambazonia terrorism, some Anglophone Cameroonians, they not be happy. I go explain them. When they see these football tournaments, third term holiday, we get into them. What are now from Kembong to Fundong, all over the Anglophone zone. I don't get hundreds of messages them. People they send me pictures, videos of their successful hosting of intercate tournaments. What are now from Munemba? Go reach all the way to Northwest Towers, everywhere. That one now an indication. Say IDPs, they return back home. Now an indication. Say life, they return back to normal. GCE results. When I don't see the newspaper articles, they tell when I say they, they, they increase year in, year out. Schools, they reopen. Students, they go back to school. Those are concrete evidence. Say life, they return back to normal. And say we don't defeat Ambazonia terrorism. Because amber terrorists, they specifically declare, say no football during war. Now them talk, nobody me I talk. And then they go on for try for stop the AFCON, the African Nations Cup and the Chan competition where it take place for Limbe and Boya. But they could not. And they hold successfully. Why me and make this audio now for compare one or two things and for make and make una understand the reality on the ground. So they not be happy when they see say life and they return back to the Anglophone zone normally just because of kumkumization and because of the strategies of black legism where it already be in effect and the yield results the anglophone population now the only people the way they carry guns for kill themselves and the anglophone population now the only people the way they get the magic solution for solve their own problems and they are doing it any community where they, they denounce ambassador terrorism they reject them and they kill the shit no why blast them they go get peace and normalcy and tranquility. It go return to that community. That is a fact. No dialogue with no shit, no weblas, no appeasement. And we don't give them evidence. What are Kembong, Fundong, Boya, Limbe, and um, Nkambe, and all of those places, then we don't provide evidence for now. Now, I want to make with compare two things. At the end of this audio, I go send with a news article where it come up from a reputable source. Where they tell us say on the 6th of July 2022, when I just last month, President Mohamedou Buhari, I don't forget how to pronounce the name, now Mohamedou Buhari of Nigeria, if be the go for go visit your own home state, if be the go for your own village, you start with the bunny for Nigeria. Gunmen, they attack the presidential convoy and they succeed for kill some of the presidential guards where they will guard the president of Nigeria. The biggest country in Africa. Yes, next door to Una. Why may I make this comparison? Now for Una for understand the level of violence we're there for Nigeria. But no man ever can tell Una, say, war there for Nigeria. No man ever ever can talk, say, uh, may Buhari uh, go dialogue with the, with the armed gunmen. They don't say it because they're just criminal bandits and not exactly which way they happen inside Cameroon. But what will happen inside Nigeria? It'd be one million times worse. But still, no man really talks a war there for Nigeria. To the extent where they attack presidential convoy, where they go for ye own village. Now, make a gift on two other comparisons inside Cameroon. Make we take the Northwest. Just two days ago, two days ago, the Minister of Territorial Administration, Minister Paul Antanganji, it be there for Bamenda. If you go for go bury your mommy, your mommy will die. Now, not worse that. Despite the fact that all these amber terrorists, especially ADF, they make a kind of noise for Facebook. 
same Paul and Tarantino, you no know, pass, they go kill you, they go do this as usual. Now, noise. Minister Paul and Tarantino, go bury your mommy inside Bamenda two days ago. Not even knock out, you no know, holla. <laughs> now, only Minister of Territorial Administration, no, no be even president, no be president, now minister only. You convoy, I'm bad terrorist, not even get the capability for attack small minister, you convoy, then a president, you own a good fit. Make you understand, for Nigeria, they are armed bandits, they are attack now president. For Bamenda, they cannot even attack even minister, you own. Where them they? That one and Northwest, it happened only two days ago. Today, and the 25th day for August 2022. Now, make we go a few months ago, about two or three months ago. Now, we then Nana for Southwest. Minister Paul Tasson. When now for Libya, let me come out. You mommy to be die. He go for ye village where they born him for the they bury in Ninton now for that village. He go for Libya, let me go bury your mommy peacefully. They dance celebrate and they give that woman a befitting sending off not a single knockout <laughs> fly no pass even mosquito no pass now minister no be president oh minister ego bury mommy in the zone where we na the call and say na war zone ego bury mommy peacefully do all things and then come away he no go by a helicopter he travel that road on foot and moto so take go reach for a village transact a business come on back on foot again ain't no fly by air but when i should for the talk say eh, a war zone make we go dialogue eh, nye, 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 nye. wonder foolish international idiot me when i can't tell you again say war they come Roma yeah nigeria don't show una just their armed bandits alone a pass when i should know why that's terrorists the way they did in the anglophone zone one million times they attack na presidential convoys. When I there for this, small minister convoy, when I no fit. Capability, when I no fit. And they might give another thing when I no understand. These pastors, fake pastors, and uh, business people, the way they want to make money from when I suffering in the anglophone zone. They go can't tell when I say, oh, hey, some other country be go dialogue with their own secessionists. Oh, this and they be dialogue, say, now only dialogue, we resolve them. One thing where they need to ever tell una, my country people them. The one thing where they never ever tell una where we not understand and make una understand today. Now say for any person to go dialogue with another person in a case of in a situation of conflict, now because say the person or the other party or both parties they get leverage. They get something where they call them say leverage. Leverage means it means that you get that capability and capacity for cause me harm. For cause me untold suffering and as a result of that in order for me to stop that suffering i would rather come in we shouldn't talk okay now ambazona terrorists don't get no capability for cause Cameroon government any kind of damage none when i stop cdc now anglophones they suffer and guess what make the anglophones they suffer because of it now the anglophones they bring their their, their money collect them together give their own picking them for go buy guns for can kill francophones now it backfire and then when i want me the francophones they can't rescue una life does not work that way that leverage most of the times it comes by international partnership or international recognition or international support and we do not have a single country that recognizes us we do not have a single country that sponsors us we do not have i mean we, we are still fighting this war in our territory Bearing all the damages, be it human damage or property damage, all still taking place in our territory. It's not supposed to be so after five years or six years, we want to put it that way. We ought to have moved beyond here. We are not occupying any territory of our own. How come for six years we have no hold on any territory in Ambazonia? Make we take Nigeria again next door to Una as another example. During the Biafra War, the eastern part of Nigeria, where they be once secede, where they call themselves Biafra, they be get international support. The whole of France, it will provide them with military helicopters, with military training, with weapons, 
and everything else because they want to destabilize the British Empire. Yes, they, because Nigeria still get a big tie with the British and France, it nobody like them, so France is support Biafra for secede. You will get other parts, for, for example, Israel and other ones in Germany, South Africa, and uh, India, and a bunch of other countries in Czechoslovakia, where they will support Biafra. At the end of the war, Biafra is still losses a surrender. The only dialogue and negotiation when Nigeria be getting with Biafra. Now, when Biafra if be go for go table, you surrender. Now, the only dialogue that when Nigeria be accept them. Yes. Think about any other conflict, any other people the way they go ever talk to this. So, government if we go dialogue with those people, they will get international support. They will get some international country where it will provide them with military support, whether not weapons training replenishment because your people they go die someone they go old someone they go retire in the course of the conflict and everything else you need to replenish them and if you know replenish them replenish means that you need to bring in new blood new ones them and if you don't replenish them then by definition you are losing and you could go extinct and now exactly that position where we don't grab ambazonia terrorists for day the day now in a very very steep slope of decline and towards extinction and when your enemy they in that position why are you going to go and help them for resuscitate them why when your enemy is down mash them kick them for canners that's what you do when your enemy is down when your enemy is down you need to go help you you need to, you need to lift it up so that may become stronger can't fight you you kick them when they're down you mash them that's what you do now them carry guns said they can't fight with me i don't get me gun from my hand i get them a very large mouth my very powerful internet connection and powerful mobile phone and plenty of money for my bank account 50 million every month now my weapons and that yes my country people them so make one i don't listen to these idiots they were they work and make noise for facebook and they one day they want for whisper for minister their ear prime minister and everything else wait till it happen for nigeria it'd be one million times worse than which way it could ever happen inside cameroon nigeria no go ever dialogue with those shit no one no one day the shit no white blast and say they, they go come what leverage do they have even with that violence they still don't get enough leverage for force Nigeria to go dialogue with them. And then again, when you look inside Cameroon, we're, we're on Anglophone terrorists, this Bamenda struggle. It even being at the most stupidest, most primitive, most self-destructive nonsense where you've ever seen. And then uh, what leverage do they have? International support, they get zero. From the very start, they get zero support from the international community. Right to today, no support, none. They didn't survive now on donations. People they, they go work McDonald's, cleaning job, uh, work small, small odd jobs for America for kind of donate 10, 10 dollars, five, five euros for them for Facebook. That is their that, now the money that way they want for, for, for use and for fight war. Chris Anu be there live two days ago. Chris Anu talk say for five years we don't fight. Now Chris Anu talk, I go cut the video. Say, I'm going to see him. He said for five years they don't fight. They don't get one international support. That is a fact. And he also talks they don't control not even one millimeter square of territory on the ground that is another fact so what does that tell you the situation be worse than that because they when when he talking like that it will look like say they be stagnated it, it means that they're there for one place they tie their food for one place but it'd be worse than that because if, if they tie your food for one place at least you still there one place but for them they're gonna get back back now reverse which we not tell when I say the number of amber terrorists they get them for 2018 compared to the one they get them now for 2022, they get less than 20% left. So the, the, the numbers are not in their favor. The amount of money where they feel raised them for 2018 compared to the one where they feel raised them now for 2022 is less than 20%. The number of support anglophone community where they've for their back. Anglophones, they go move their beginning for school deliberately. For this school boycott, not them. Mommy, papa, be tell it, can say, if you pass that school, I will kill you. Maybe we not understand. Five years later, now that that mommy, they don't carry their kid them. They pay transport, pay rentage for go put them for school inside francophone zone. We not be talking, we not want francophonization of the anglophone zone, right? Guess what? Ambazonia terrorism, now the biggest and the fastest mechanism for francophonized anglophones. Now, all in Africa, they talk French because they, the past five years, they grow inside the francophone system. All in Africa, they study in French inside the francophone system. All. 
Yes, except for the few where they don't come now, they realize themselves, they kick the amber food them, open their schools and back for their villages them. That is it. Now why do I tell you, at the end of this madness, Cameroon, it will become even more united. Cameroon, it will become even more indivisible. And most importantly, Cameroon, it will become even more francophonized. Which, when I wait that way, when I be toxic, so when I know one time, but not exactly wait that way, when I don't carry on our own hands, buy, buy guns and give on our kingdom for go francophonize the whole anglophone community. That is it. Now, when I call some, say, me they go dialogue, me they go negotiate. We should know why last way they don't even get the capability for attack every minister I convoy. To be fair, for 2018, maybe they be fit to arm and they be doing one one time. For 2022, they don't have the capability. They should know why they don't run, they don't kill them, they don't even get money, they don't get weapons, they don't get ammunition, they don't get nothing. All where they get now left, now Facebook noise. That is it. Today, now, number 25th day of August, 2022. Asalo, now, my contributor.